Perhaps you've seen these videos online. No, this isn't CGI, and it's not from some alien planet. This morphing magnetic liquid is called ferrofluid. To get a grip on what exactly these fluids are, we talked to Professor Marcus Zahn of MIT. He's done extensive research and holds patents on the stuff. So what it is, is there's a dish of ferrofluid, there is a metal rod, there's no current in the rod, which means there's no magnetic field present. And so it just, fluid just sits flat. And if you put a current through that wire, then you uh, generate a magnetic field around that wire and it tends to lift up the ferrofluid. So what's in it? Well, it's a mixture of a carrier liquid, usually an oil, and magnets so tiny they're measured by the nanometer. That's a billionth of a meter. These little magnets are coated with a surfactant to prevent clumping. So that's a key thing, is to put that surfactant material a surface coating so they, they don't agglomerate. Ferrofluids date back to the 1960s when NASA, who else, contracted the Avco Corporation to create a magnetic rocket fuel that could be controlled in zero gravity. Well, its uses have changed. Yes, it makes for fascinating sculptures, but it's also used to cool loudspeakers, can act as a sealant, and may even become a game changer in biomedicine. You can use the magnetic materials to generate heat, you can control them, you can move them, so you can do pumping, you can do MEMS, microelectromechanical systems. A lot of people are using the ferrofluids for MEMS activation. Want your own ferrofluid? Check out these little vials. They're advertised as desk toys and cost about $30 per container. For a liter of pure ferrofluid, however, you're looking at 170 bucks. For Discovery News, I'm Martin Berman, and that's Ferrofluids Explained. <laughs>